Hello everyone, hope you are doing well. So here there is a direction for question that there is a passage below which is accompanied by a set of questions. We need to choose the best answer to each question. Well, look at the text. What does it point out? It talks about uh, uh, in spite of much research and conjecture, the origin of the Chinese people remains undetermined. Right. And uh, we do not know who they were not, whence they came. Right. Such evidence as there is a more, there is points to their immigration from elsewhere. Now, if you look into the men's uh, text, right, I hope that you must have read the text and uh, got some ideas out of it. So it is stated the Chinese themselves have a tradition of a Western origin. The first picture we have of their actual history shows us not a people behaving as if long settled in a land. So uh, which was their home and that of their forefathers. Now, the text discusses the, nothing but what? Uh, uncertain origin of the Chinese people, uh, rejecting certain theories and proposing two main hypotheses. One is known as Acadia and uh, another one is known as uh, Khotan. So these are the things which ha we have already discussed and we also discussed all the main ideas um, in the first question itself. Uh, <clears throat> let's uh, directly move to the question. So what does the question point out here? So which of the following can be said to have been definitely true of the early Chinese people? Right. Which of the following can be said to have been definitely true of the early Chinese people? So if I talk about the uh, the idea of this question, which of the following can be said to have definitely true? of the early Chinese people. Look at the options. What are the options point out? The first option said they encountered animals such as tigers and elephants. Second, they were settled in land, which was their home and that of their forefathers. Third, they originated in the Indo-Chinese Peninsula. And the fourth one, their ideograms referred to animals and plants found exclusively in the topic. Well, if I look into the... Uh, extract one of the extract which is given about ideograms right or not uh, which you would find out here only in a where uh, somewhere in this particular part uh, yeah so here it is stated also the ideograms refer to represent animals and plants of the temperate zone rather than of the tropics but even if it could be shown, which it cannot, that these animals and plants now belong uh, uh, exclusively to the tropic, that would be no proof of the tropical origin of the Chinese, right? For in the earliest times of the climate of North China was much milder than it is now. And animals such as tigers and elephants existed in the dense jungles, which are later found only in more southern latitudes. Now, in if you look into the following extract, also the ideogram referred to represent animals and plants of the temperate zone rather than of the tropics. But even if it could be shown, which it cannot, that these animals and plants now belong exclusively to the tropics. That would be no proof of the tropical origin of the Chinese. Right. So, for in the earliest times, the climate of North China was much milder than it is now and animals such as tigers and elephants existed in the dense jungle, which are later found only in more southern latitude. So, this particular part, which is given from the also two latitudes, are clearly indicating that they encountered animals such as tigers and elephants, which is not definitely true. Why? Now, because it is clearly stated that uh, in this particular part, that what uh, uh, times the climate so, so and so in the tension, which I later found only in a more southern latitude. Right. So, and it is stated that that would be no proof of the tropical origin. No proof. Isn't it? So, uh, it also, if you look into that, uh, they encountered animals such as tigers and elephants, which is clearly stated that uh, that uh, 
can be said to have been definitely true of the early Chinese people. They encountered animals such as tigers and elephants. Now, if I look into the other options, uh, <clears throat> where it is stated in four, their ideograms refer to animals and plants found exclusively in the tropic. So, which has been negated. Right. Since the extract mentions that the ideogram refers to plants and animals found in the temperate zone rather than in the tropics. So hence, four is eliminated. Option two, if I look into it, they were settled in a land which was their home and that of their forefather. So option two is also negated right, by the following extract that called it the, uh, the first picture. Right or not? So which is uh, stated and the idea that called it the first picture we have of their actual history shows us not a people behaving as if long settled in a land which was their home and that of their forefathers. Right. So, but at the same time, but uh, it is also pointed an alien race fighting with wild beasts, clearing dense forest and driving back the aboriginal inhabitants. So, what you would find out, the author, the author expresses nothing but serious doubts about their origins, right? Serious doubt, you know what? Serious doubts about their origins being in the Indo-Chinese Peninsula, which he has highlighted in the passage. So, you also find out option three is eliminated because the author doubt, doubts on this, right? Therefore. Hence, we could find out the correct answer should be option one, right? So I hope you are clear with this. 